Greetings, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good middle of the night. A few weeks ago, when the violence broke out in Palestine and Israel, we started this vigil. And I must say that many of us were shocked by the violence deeply um, pained, and we thought, well, what can we do really? What can we do? And so we started this gathering to pray together, because we know that together, united, with the divine will, united with the will of God, united with the very supreme intelligence that we pray towards and with, and that's within each of us, that if we unite our limited will with that, there is nothing more powerful. There's no greater power than God and and as we know from all of the prophetesses and all of the prophets, the great power of the great being is peace. And if you don't believe that or know that, just look at your own life. I look at mine. I know when I'm peaceful, my prayers are real. And I'm willing to leave the effect to the cause because the cause is greater than my ego. So we started this not knowing what would happen. And every day, people came, many of you, every day for just a few minutes. And perhaps our limited mind says, well, what can we do? What did, did we really do anything? And again, invoking the memory of one of the founders of the Abrahamic reunion, Ilias Jabor, the great peacemaker, an Israeli, Arab, Christian, peacemaker. And I said this at the beginning, and I want to say it at the end of the series. He said, there's always problems with peace. But peace comes if you stop the killing. If you stop the fighting, Peace will come. And I know that it's not our work at this point to work out a peace agreement that will come. And frankly, we're very lucky, and so are the Israeli Jews and Arabs and the Palestinians to have Ghassan back in Israel for a little bit because it's his work and the work of others who are trained to come out with an agreement that really will work. But it's our work to pray for peace. Nothing will change without peace. And although things might be tense and tenuous, there is a ceasefire. Nobody's getting killed. No families are running for the shelter on either side. Nobody is, is mourning the sudden loss of life. So that's what our prayers can contribute to, and many other people as well. But we've really done something. And we'll continue. We're, we're stopping the daily prayer meetings, but we're going to meet every week. 
on Thursday at the same time. Because prayer and is the perfume of peace. And we know that we can affect real change. Real change. One more thought that I had. It's true, we meet together for a few minutes and that's very powerful as we know. But if, if you have moments throughout the day when things are quiet, just for a minute or five minutes, just stop and pray for the peace. Pray for the peace of Israel, pray for the peace of Palestine, pray for the peace of the Holy Land. More importantly, pray for, a for minute the or people. Five minutes. Pray for the people of the Holy Land. Well, I said one more thing, but I'm going to say one more, one more thing, if I may. I'm tired of people saying it's hopeless. I'm, I'm sick of that. This is not an insurmountable problem. You know, we're dealing with 13 million people. It's not insurmountable. It hasn't always been. That's a very false myth. Jews and Muslims and Christians have gotten along together for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And each of the great teachers of these religions have taught that. You know, the golden rule is true in every religion. What you want done to yourself, do to other people. If you want people to be kind to you, be kind to other people. So take, take the moment during the day, during the night, and pray, and really live, live your inner peace. And in that way, we can change the world. So our dear friend Ghassan is there in Israel in the midst of it, as our Abd al-Salam and Muhammad Jamus, our young leaders in Israel and Palestine, and all the young women and men, high school kids and college age kids who are working with us for peace. So pray for them, pray for their protection. It's not always safe. So I want to thank Hassan and ask him, of course, to speak and thank the, the, the folks on the ground in Israel and Palestine and thank all of us who work for the Abrahamic reunion with real devotion. You know, we have a very active group of people who help guide and make this real. We don't meet once every three months like some boards and so on. We meet every week or every two weeks to do what we can do. Also thank Akbar, Chris Miller for pulling all of this together, the production part, which is always a pain in the neck. <laughs> and all of you who support us. Thank you. Yassan, please. Salam Aleikum. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Salam Aleikum from Nazareth, from uh, the Holy Land, from Israel. I'm so happy to, to be again with you. Thank you, Shahuddin. It's a very deep what you say, and it's very, uh, you know, it's touch our hearts. It's the truth. I, I would like to say that I'm here. I arrived about six days ago, and uh, I began 
at the same day that I arrived, I began the meetings and the connection with the people from both sides, the Jews and the Arabs. Arabs which include, uh, as we say, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, and uh, the Jewish people. Uh, I would like to say that today the situation is a better, better time. And it's began to be less clash, less conflict, but it's the, the waves or the hidden waves of the uh, clash is uh, still exist in different places. We try not only to reduce the tension, we try to heal the source of the clash. This is the most important thing. You know, sometimes you, you'll see a damage. We say, okay, paint it. But after two months, it will come back, the damage. The most important thing is to make a, a, a construction, real construction to this thing. And we are doing uh, for this. In Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we have a very, very big meeting of the high leaders, of the religious leader, the clergy, and the social uh, leaders also to come to try to heal the situation in our societies. Uh, really, as Shaudin said, we, all of us, we shocked. But, you know, I want to tell you, it's not a big shock because, you know, I, I expect, uh, expect a, everything here in the Holy Land. Why? You know why? Because we have a good people. When you will have a good people, you will find lots of misunderstandings between all of them. These good people, sometimes, because they are so pure, they can't believe different kind of conspiracies. And we try to clean all of these things. We are trying to build the most important things today that we uh, 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 talk together and we did together, the uh, clergies and the social leaders and part of the politicians, the holy politicians. It's so hard to find the holy politicians, but we, we have a little bit. We say we need to work in the... <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. It's 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 the time to, to, uh, no, they are my friends, you know, our <laughs> friends. And, but it's very important to say that uh, the education, the educational system. We need to go back again to the educational system. We 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 in an Abrahamic reunion about fifteen years ago, we did a very great work. If you remember uh, that we went, we entered to the educational system. In the public system and the house system, and we began to uh, create a very good kind of uh, education about the other, about myself, about him, her, his, they. And today, in, in, in Tuesday, we will work in the educational system, how to pass to our next generation that material about our life. Because we say, if I'm flying or, or sailing in the in the sea and you have your part at that ship i have my part he has a, a part she has a part and you decide to make a hole inside your part it's my part i need to make a hole the hole in your part will danger and challenge all of us we will sink together then we need to take care how to teach them don't create the hole don't create the hole we need you, we need to be together. Because if today you will fight me, tomorrow when you'll finish me, you'll fight yourself. And usually I say to them, find the strong partner. If you'll find your strong partner, you'll be, you'll be strong. But if you'll choose the weak partner, you'll be weak. Stay strong with love, with harmony, with connection with many things. I want to say that we began to connect many uh, uh, groups here, Jewish groups, Jewish organizations, and Arab organizations. As Abrahamic Green, we say we will take our responsibility to connect all of these organizations. And really, I arrived here, no one connected with Adala. All of them, they're watching what will happen. I say, no, this is our time jump to the water to save all, all, all of these people. Now our work to come, you must come to be together.
They are great people and great organizations. But sometimes you need someone to say to you, wake up, wake up, you are okay. Don't worry, it's a, it's a dream. And Abrahamic reunion, I think, make the people awakening, the awake the people, and we begin to work. We have many meetings in the Negev. We have in Tel Aviv, in the middle, in Jerusalem, in, in, in the north, all of the north. The more I'll be in Haifa. After that, I'll be here in, in Shimshit and in different places. I'll run. We need to run for all around the time. We are working. I know that Abrahamic reunion sent me here to do the work. I'm, I'm, I, I cannot do the work alone. I'm, I'm in connection with, with uh, Shahuddin every day for consulting many things and advising and so on and so on to do the best with Abid and Muhammad Janus also and with Chris Miller. We are working so hard for to heal the situation here because if we will succeed to heal the, the, the situation here, all of the world will be complete. The light will come from here. I don't say because it's, it's my, no, 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 no. It's Jerusalem. It's the heart of the world. It's the love, it's the connection, it's the harmony. Unfortunately, the city of God all of conflict, but I want, to, I want to tell you something that Abed works very hard and he gather a big number of the Arabs inside the old city of Jerusalem and they wait for us to create a very strong meeting now, what to do, how to connect with the Jews in, with the, Jews in, 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 in the old city, Christians, Muslims and Jews there. We don't have uh, Druze there. The Druze, they are here in, in, in Haifa. Tomorrow I'll meet them. It's very important to, to be one heart, as Shahabuddin said, to pray together. If we, were, we finish that vigil, you know, of the prayers for two weeks, and believe me, your prayers in Abrahamic reunion helped a lot about, I, I don't know how present, but it's, it's healed. It's healed the situation. God accept your prayer. As I say, when we'll fly in the airplane, we will be Jews, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, and so on. Each one of us will pray. If God decide to accept a prayer for one of us, all of us will, will be safe. All of us will be safe. And continue to pray. Continue to pray. We'll be very strong. We'll be very, very good. I want to say another thing. This journey... It's not a cheap journey. I, I want to say this very clear. It's very expensive because I need to jump from place to place and to be, be with people, to, to, to meet and to do things and so on, so on, so on. The first support that we need from you to pray for us. Second support, support us for all of our expenses. Shabuddin is smiling because he knows we speak about this every day. Support us. To, 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 to succeed, to do the best. And I, I say, don't leave uh, Abrahamic reunion alone in the field. You are the fighters of light. You are the, 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 the you know, I, I don't know what to say, but you are the uh, 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 rabbis, the, 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 the sheikhs, the priests of the peace in this world. Be with us and come to succeed to, to create the best. As Shabuddin say, we will, we finish the vigil of daily prayer, but we will have every Thursday prayer. And this coming Thursday, inshallah, we will have the prayer with Cliff Cutler, as I mentioned, that he is one of the greatest peacemakers, that the greatest philosopher, the greatest you know, a, a, a holy person I met in, in Philly. And inshallah, we will continue to do the best. We love you so much. Thank you. Shabuddin. There's one person that I forgot to thank. And <clears throat> that's Sheikh Leila Manasra, Hassan's wife. When I spoke to her just before he left, 
and she's always very positive and and full of prayers one of the deepest people i've ever met and she prayed and i said how are you and she said oh i'm a little sad because gasan's leaving again and you know each make each of us make personal sacrifices because we believe in something greater than our individual needs so thank you thank you all blessings to everybody see you on thursday spread the word you can have more people join us and i pray for all of us for good health for wisdom for love for depth and for joy thank you all Thank you.